In this video, we'll show you how we made this 3D shadow box using our diode laser. Hi, we're Laura and Lewis, and we've been wanting to add a laser to our tool collection for a long time. Creality was nice enough to send us their 10 watt CR Laser Falcon to try out. What's that you say? You want to hear more about the features of this machine and its capabilities? Lewis will tell you all about it. The CR Falcon is made with a lightweight aluminum frame. It sports a sleek, one-button operation, metric gradations on the axes, and a built-in bubble level. The 10-watt diode laser is powerful enough to cut through 12 millimeters on some types of material. Honeycomb bed not included. We're using quarter-inch or 5-millimeter Baltic birch for this project. After placing the stock on the honeycomb bed, we use the focus block to set the height of the laser. There are two thumb screws on the side that allow the laser to move up and down on the mount. We imported the files for the project using Lightburn, and we left a link in the description for the files that we used. After adjusting the size and power settings, we saved the G-code onto the provided SD card. After turning on the machine, we press the button one time and that activates the alignment mode. The laser starts by finding home and then it outlines the cutting area. You can follow the blue dot and move the stock around to make sure that it's positioned correctly. We took off the shield here so you can see the blue light a little better. It's held on by magnets so you can take it on and off pretty quickly. Once we're happy with the position, we can press the button again and it starts lasering. Make sure to wear the provided safety goggles so you don't burn your eyes. This is a good time for some cinematic lasering. Oh, and side note. Since there's no display, we found that there can only be one file on the SD card at a time for the machine to read. So for each layer, we had to delete the file, then upload the next, then delete, upload the next, then delete, upload the next. Anyways, back to the lasering. Once the job is complete, just push the gantry away and pick up the freshly lasered stock. For this piece, there were a few areas where it didn't burn all the way through, but I was able to use a razor to score the back and that did the trick. The laser was able to get through most of this 5mm birch wood, but it left a thin onion skin. The laser came with a few sheets of 3mm basswood, which it blasted right through in one pass. You can see some of the remnants on our workbench. It can even cut through this 5mm plywood from the big box door like butter, but the Baltic birch needed a little more processing. We're still learning to dial in the best speed and power settings, so there's that. A little bit of sanding on the back side released the pieces and we were back in business. With all the pieces cut out, you can really see the fine details of the moon craters. All the pieces just stack on top of each other like pancakes. 
It took less than an hour for the laser to cut out all of these pieces. Here, we forgot to add a hole for the LED wires to pull through on Lightburn, so we just drilled it out. Then time for the fun part. We mixed up some acrylic paint and painted up all the pieces. Some of the leftover soot from the laser can be wiped off with acetone. And you should probably do that before painting because clearly we did not and you can really see it. Once all the paint dried, we glued the sections together with our favorite glue combo, Starbond CA glue and a little spritz of activator. We added a small strip of LEDs onto the lip of the two window pieces and then finished gluing the rest of the pieces together. Off camera, we also made a quick plywood frame to house all the layers. Here's the finished product. We're super happy with how this project turned out. What a good moon. It wouldn't have been possible without Creality's new 10 watt laser. We can't wait to laser more things and incorporate it into our workflow. If you enjoyed the project, please consider liking and commenting below. And make sure to subscribe for more DIY projects. Thanks for watching!